Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to see how to download, install, and set up uh, Pop SQL on a Windows PC. So, as you can see, I'm using Windows 11, but you can follow the same procedure for Windows 10, 8, or 7, whichever one you're using. Uh, just the support might vary and the speed might vary. So, I'll just mention this link in the description so you can directly go to this link and get on this page for Pop SQL. So, talking about Pop SQL, Pop SQL is an SQL editor. Uh, as the name itself suggests pop sql the good thing about pop sql is that it's very intuitive and it's very fun to use okay and writing sql queries is very 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 uh fun and very very easy in pop sql so if you have if you're someone who is learning sql and you might have seen some tutorials or you might have you know done a few courses or even if you're doing it on yourself if you have searched on the internet there are two to three ways in which you can write sql queries Okay, the first method will be you can use a software called as exam or you can might call it exam. Uh, you can write SQL queries there by creating the server right, right there in itself. And the second one you can do is a MySQL workbench that I think many people use. So I have used both of them and I, I've just found MySQL, uh, Pop SQL as one of the best one because MySQL and exam both are a little bit complicated if you're a beginner. Uh, the software is a lot to you know look around to go and do everything it's a, it's a little bit too much if you're just a beginner whereas pop scale is a very simple software where you can do you know e each step uh, very easily and it's uh, kind of like our normal text editors that we use so you can check out what all features that they offer you can you can you know uh, collaborate on uh, with your team as itself and there are a lot more features you can just visit this website and check it out also again uh, there's a free version and there's a pricing version so if you have someone uh, you want to check it out whatever free version offers and what all the other version offers you can just check out you can see the free version it says just the basic for an individual so if you are someone who's learning sql uh, who's still a developer who's still a student then you can uh, you know easily use this uh, free version you don't have to pay or anything for it and if you also want to check how to get uh, pop SQL for free for completely one year click on the i button uh, you can see the video that i've also made on pop SQL on how you can get a uh, year one year complete subscription for free of pop SQL without doing anything without paying anything okay so now this is not any kind of a uh, sponsored video or anything pop SQL is not paying me to make this video just uh, i'm just telling you what all it offers okay on the first page itself you can see this uh, get started for free just click on this button and you just have to sign up with the google account so just click on sign up with google and it will automatically log you in it will ask you for a few permissions and you can see i already have an account so i just get an option of get the desktop app or continue on this browser so if you are someone who's short on storage you cannot allocate a completely uh, complete space for pop scale you can just click on this option and you can just you know start using pop sql on the web browser or the web itself you don't have to download it you can just click on add a new connection and whichever suppose now if you want to use mysql you can just write the all this fill out, fill out all these details and you can just click on connect and your connection will start and you can just write start writing uh sql code uh, but but uh here we are going to see how to download it for desktop so you'll just click on download pop sql for desktop so the download will start automatically now I've already downloaded it to save us some time. So let's just click on open. Now it will start installing. Okay, so now the uh, it has installed successfully and now we'll have to do a few steps that we can, you know, start using pop SQL. Now again, we have to sign in with our uh, Google account. So just click on sign in with Google. This is the easiest way uh, that you can do so you can you know see uh, I'll just return to pop SQL now and I would have signed up uh, signed in successfully all right so you can see now this is uh, my account now I have signed in and I I can start you know using uh, pop SQL so you can you know uh, you just have to click on add a new connection you have to select your database which is my SQL and you can you know start your host name your database name your username and your password all of these fields are required now i'm not going to uh input each and every field i'm going to show you how to do that because that's uh, what you have to do you have to enter your username and password you have to input the name of your database and the port name that you're going to dedicate to it the host name whatever it is that you have to do and just click on connect 
आफ्टर दैट यू नो यू कैन स्टार्ट यूजिंग पॉप एस क्यूल इट्स एन वेरी ईजी सॉफ्टवेयर और यू नो वट आई डू आई जस्ट आई जस्ट एड न्यू कनेक्शन आई शो यू गैस हाउ टू डू इट सो आई जस्ट इनपुट ईच एंड एवरी थिंग एंड देन आई शो यू आफ्टर वॉट यू हैव डन हाउ इट लुक्स लाइक एंड वॉट वी कैन डू विद पॉप एस क्यूल और इट सो वंस यू यू नो इनपुट ईच एंड एवरी डिटेल दिस इज द होम पेज दैट यू सी दिस इज वॉट योर स्क्रीन विल लुक लाइक so uh, you can just create a new file by just clicking on this first uh, plus button so just click on this plus button and here you can see that my sql uh, database has been connected it, it's green in color so now i'll just create a table you can see it's completely green that means that there's no syntax error any uh, of any sort i'll just control s save this and let's just uh, run it and see so you can see it tells us the result also it tells us that it is success on the right side as well you can just is it can change its location where you want uh, and you know you can also you know uh, let's just drop this table also let's see if that works as well we'll just run sorry we'll run this and you can see now that the table has been dropped so you can just play around with all this code and let me just you know uh, show you because it is a complicated process on how i connected this uh, database so again uh, if you are not able to do that if you are not able to connect to the database uh, just we'll go over here uh, we'll click on manage connections and here just click on add new connection now i already have uh, this connection right so i'm just going to show you what all i have input over here so the connection name is mysql the port name is localhost now Until then, unless you take this option, uh, which is connect directly from my computer. So I have an SQL Server installed on my computer, which is required if you want to use Pop SQL because you need to have SQL Server. You have you have to have a server. Otherwise, Pop SQL will not work because it does not have a server of its own. Okay. So until then, unless you take this option, you can see it shows an error. So we'll just click on this option. Uh, I have to create first and uh, foremost, you have to create a database. Again, if you don't have a database, uh, you can just do it. You can just create a database. Uh, other than uh, other than that, uh, otherwise it won't work. Again, it will show an error. Then this is the username and password that I have. Uh, you can you know set it up, or I already had it of my uh, my SQL, so I just uh, put the same over here else. Check mark this option and just click on connect. Okay, that's all you have to do, and just you can just you know start writing uh, code on Pop SQL. So uh, if you guys have any queries, mention it in the comment section. Uh, that is all for this video. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.